Hello, Bamboo Lab P1P owners. I'm sitting here next to my Bamboo Lab P1P. The P1P that's been giving me a headache with poor bed adhesion problems. Lots of people on the internet tell me that I'm crazy. They have no problems. The bed adhesion is fine. It must be user error. Or maybe you should just wash your bed or something. But no, I'm not crazy. No, I don't need to wash my bed. My P1P has really, really poor adhesion and I was ending up with masks that looked like this. Apparently, I'm not the only one to notice this as I have read others with the same problem and Bamboo Lab themselves have felt the need to release a new PEI bed. If the original Bamboo Lab P1P dual-sided textured PEI bed was so good, why would they release a new one? I emailed them to ask them this very question and their response referred to the original bed as the old bed and they informed me that the new bed has significant performance improvements and I should choose that. So today we are gonna test out the golden PEI bed, but not the one from Bamboo Lab. You see, the day I became fed up with my P1P, I went online and began looking for third-party options for print beds. This was the same day Bamboo Lab released their new golden PEI bed. However, at the time, their description wasn't clear whether or not this was the same bed already available in a new color or if it was in fact an improved bed. I later heard from them and found out it is in fact an improved bed. However, while I waited for them to respond, I had already placed an order for the bed in this envelope. It was recommended to me by a user on Reddit who told me they put this brand on all their printers. I'd never heard of it. It's H-Z-D-A-D-E-V-E. -E -E. 3D printer accessories. I'll put the link to this in the description. So we are gonna take this bed, pop it on the P1P, and I'm gonna print a few of the things I've been struggling with on this new bed and find out if it is indeed better. The bed came in a cardboard box, and inside that cardboard box was this bubble envelope. Inside this bubble envelope is the new golden PEI bed. The one thing you'll notice is they did protect the corners with pieces of plastic. This is super cool. I am going to pop this on the printer and print a few items I've been struggling with. One of those things is this prop knife handle. My P1P loves to knock it off the bed. It just simply separates and falls over in the middle of a print. Typically, I print two at a time, and one of them usually fails and falls off the bed. We are gonna stress test this with four. Another print I've been struggling to successfully complete on my P1P is this Iron Man helmet. It just separates from the bed, the tree supports fall right over, and it fails for no apparent reason whatsoever in the middle of the print. The whole thing just whoop, comes right off the bed as if it wasn't attached at all. If this new bed gets me through four of these and this large section of the Iron Man helmet, I will be very impressed and I will indeed be convinced that my struggles have been with poor performance of the stock Bamboo Lab P1P PEI bed. Let's get the stock bed off the printer and put the new one on. Before putting the new bed on, make sure the plate is nice and clean. We don't want anything between the bed and the plate. Slide this out. All four corners kindly remove themselves for me. And since it's dual sided, we are simply gonna pick a side and place it on the bed. As you can see, the magnetic properties of the bed work great. The bed snapped into place easily and it looks really nice. Fitment appears to be absolutely flawless and I am very excited to fire up a print on this sucker. My favorite way to clean a PEI bed is IPA and a Blue Scots shop towel. You can spray the bed down and then wipe it or you can use something simple like an IPA soaked rag. Having said that, this is a brand new bed so we are going to go ahead and treat it to some fresh IPA. We don't know if in the manufacturing process any oils or foreign substances work their way onto this bed. Remember, we don't just want to spread the stuff around, we actually want to pick it up. So do use a nice cloth 
and clean that bed thoroughly. It's go time. Test number one, glow in the dark PLA filament, ghost face mask, no adhesives. Perfect success. Test number two, not one, not two, not three, but four prop knife handles. Absolutely perfect. Adhesion was so strong that the skirt and supports actually stayed on the bed and self-removed when I picked up the model. Test number three, this large section of an Iron Man helmet printed successfully on my very first try. On the stock P1P bed, this failed every single time I tried. These prop handles failed about four out of five attempts and forget about printing something like this. However, with the new bed, every single one printed perfectly the very first time. Matter of fact, this is held so tight, the bed is still attached. With the stock bed, while it was printing, adhesion was so poor, I could grab this model and just lift it off the bed. Now, I can grab the model and lift up the entire bed. That said, it looks like this new generation of PEI beds has brought significant adhesion improvements to our Bamboo Lab printers, and to me, that is very exciting. Testing this bed has proven to be an epic success, and I will be putting one of these third-party beds, or maybe even perhaps the official Bamboo Lab bed, as I expect similar results from that one on all of my Bamboo Lab printers. You are watching the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com and testing out these cool new PEI beds on my Bamboo Lab P1P was today's adventure.